Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball here today with some more Pokemon TCG stuff, and uh, I have a another episode of uh, custom Pokemon cards. The first one I had out there, uh, you guys had some really good positive uh, comments and wanted to see some more of my custom creations. And so I have another set of five custom cards that I thought would be really interesting to see played out in the current format and metagame. I think it'd be something really cool. So coming at number one, we have Chris, uh, the trainer, but uh, it's um, going to be the supporter, right? So it's a full, I have a full art supporter, Chris here. Uh, choose any two cards from your discard pile, place one of them on the bottom of your deck and place the other on the top of your deck. Now, uh, I really like this card. Uh, it's got a very interesting uh, kind of, you know, technique to it. Uh, it's a little bit like a dowsing machine um, and a little bit like a computer search. The only downfall is that you don't get to play the card right away, right? So uh, similar to dowsing machine, it is an item card and it's an A-spec, so you can only have one of those. And you have to discard two cards from your hand and you can get back a trainer card. Uh, any trainer card, stadium, supporter, tool, or item. Um, with Chris here, and uh, similar to Computer Search, discarding two cards, and you can search for any card in your deck and play and put it into your hand. Uh, Chris is kind of the opposite. You can search for any two cards. See, unlike Dowsing Machine, it's only uh, trainers. But with Chris, it could be Pokemon, could be Energies, uh, things like that. Uh, and you can choose two, any two cards. And uh, like computer search, you can search for any one card. And uh, the benefit to Chris is that you put one on the bottom of your deck and the other one on top. And so if your opponent doesn't play N or Ace in the next turn, right? for example, if this was a real card, um, then uh, you would at least get a card that you picked from the uh, discard pile that you know for sure you know, it's a card that you could, you could use. So an interesting card nonetheless, and I think... Um, could deserve a spot in the real world uh you never know either so uh coming in at number two we have an item card uh, it's going to be explorer kit and um you look at the bottom three cards of your deck if there is a supporter card there you can reveal it and use it as the effect of this item card wow okay this is this is going to be ridiculously good this is so uh, this is going to be really good um the ability to um uh, search for the bottom three cards, right? So it's like trainer's mail. Trainer's mail, you can search uh, for four. And the benefit to trainer's mail is that you can search for any... If you find it in the top four cards, any uh, trainer, right? Supporter, item, tool, um, stadium, you can pick it out, right? Uh, but unlike the Explorer kit here, it has to be a supporter card. You look at the bottom three cards of your deck... If there is a supporter card there, you can reveal it and use it as the effect of this item card. Now, what's really cool is you can actually combine it with uh, Chris, which means um, you, if you search and choose any two cards from your discard pile, you can actually put a, a supporter card on the bottom of your card on your deck. Uh, and then in your next turn, you can play Explorer Kit, and then you know for sure there's a supporter in that discard pile, uh, in the bottom of your deck. And so you can essentially play two supporters in one turn. And uh, I think that's actually really cool. Um, Smurgle the, had the ability uh, to do that. That was in the, uh, the previous uh, you know, formats uh, uh, before black and white. And, um, you know, I think the ability... And plus, uh, there is currently right now, before the rotation happens with uh, the Plasma and Legendary Treasure rotation um, and, and Boundaries Crossed, um, uh, there's that the Dual Mines, right, from uh, Magnazone. Right, uh, the plasma magnet is able to play two supporters in one turn, and I think having something like that is really cool, and it can definitely change the game. And I don't think this is broken. It could be broken. You can actually abuse it with Chris if Chris did exist. But um, you know, you look at the bottom three, and three is kind of a limited number. Four is a little bit more with trainer's mail. So um, I don't know. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Let me know in the comments below. What do you What do you guys think? And uh, at number three, we have Misty. And uh, again, Misty is a longtime favorite for many of you fans out there, Pokemon fans. Um, and definitely could deserve a spot. You never know we can, we can, when we can have a Misty, Misty uh, supporter card, right? So I think we've had Misty before. You know, we have Brock uh, in prior TCG cards, but maybe to see Misty again, it would be pretty cool. So uh, the effect here, you draw three cards. So it's very similar to Sharon. 
um, and also Tierno. Uh, if but the catch here is if there is a stage one or a stage two water Pokemon, so ideally this is going to be in a water deck. You can reveal it and you draw three more cards. Now, originally I thought, okay, maybe it's a little bit too strong. Right? Maybe what we should do is just do stage two. If it's just a stage two, then you can draw three cards. I thought about that, but um, you know, the the power of this card is to draw a ton of cards, right? So like, I, I decided, okay, fine, let's do a stage one or stage two water Pokemon. Uh, but again, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. Um, you know, I thought stage two, just stage two, would be pretty good and a little bit more balanced uh, because this could get really broken really fast, right? You draw three cards like a regular Sharon or Tierno, and then bam, what the heck? You draw three more cards because the Blastoise shows up. You know, um, I, I'm not sure, but uh, so that's that. Um, we have uh, coming in at number four, nap time. It's an item card, and I thought, you know, I, I thought about uh, some of the item cards that we have right now that are not very useful, right? So, for example, um, uh, we've in the past we've had energy search, which you can search for one energy. But guess what? Uh, Professor's letter is an upgrade from that. You can search two basic energies and everyone runs Professor's Letter over Energy Search. No one cares about Energy Search anymore. So I was thinking, what could be a nice card that can replace something, a very classic and iconic card like Potion, right? Of course, we had the upgrade uh, from the original base set. Potion was only two en uh, two damage counters, uh, 20 damage. Now we, we got the bump, the increase. Uh, we increased it to three damage counters. So I thought, what can we do to replace that? The way that we replaced Energy Search with with uh, with the uh, Professor's Letter, is there a way we can uh, replace uh, the potion? So, and, and I thought about nap time, and I thought, hey, why this is a this is a pretty cool thing. Uh, why not, right? Because you can combine both full heal, right, to remove special conditions, and with um, uh, with uh, you know uh, with potion. So here, the effect is you heal 30 damage and remove all special conditions from your active Pokemon. Look at that. Do it in one shot. And so during that, right, you're awake or you're not paralyzed anymore, right? And then you can attack. You heal 30 damage and then you can attack. But then the effect here says your active Pokemon is asleep at the end of your turn. So once you attack, the moment you attack or the moment you say, hey, I'm done, end phase... Um, and it transitions from your turn to your opponent's turn, your Pokemon is asleep, and you get to flip a coin. So it balances out, right? And, and, and if you flip two tails in a row, hey, nap time. They just Your Pokemon just kept napping. But you get two shots to wake up, right? Once the end phases, the shift between your turn to your opponent's turn, you flip a coin. If heads, bada bing, bada boom. You're awake, you heal third damage, you remove special conditions, and you woke up. Hallelujah. Uh, and, or if you stay asleep, doesn't matter. Your opponent's got a shot at you, gets a crack at you anyways. They can attack, they can do whatever, right? And then it comes back to your turn. If you're still asleep, uh, when it transitions from your opponent's turn to your turn, you flip a coin, boom, you wake up. Or you can use nap time again, see? Uh, if you have another nap time, then you can remove that sleep condition. <laughs> um, there you go. So that, that could get a little broken there too, but... Um, yeah, so that's nap time. And coming in at number five, the last card here, I thought this is one of the... Um, I really like Koga from, um, you know, playing Pokemon uh, Red and uh, Blue and then Pokemon Yellow. Uh, that first generation, uh, those, those um, uh, you know... I, Koga has just always been a favorite of mine, and uh, I think this ability is going to be pretty cool, right? Because he's a ninja, right? So you can do sneaky things. Um, the effect here is you move as many damage counters as you like from any of your Pokemon to any of your other Pokemon. That's pretty cool. And it's almost like Reuniclus' ability uh, to move to, to damage swap. But instead of, an, uh, instead of an ability, it comes in the form of a supporter. And I think this is pretty good because it, it's a little bit... It's balanced, right? Uh, it's not like you can move your damage counters onto your opponent's Pokemon. That's overkill. Or it's not like Sinister Hand where you play this Koga and then you can move damage counters around. That's too powerful. Uh, I think this damage swap ability done in the uh, supporter effect works out pretty well. 
Uh, it gives some viability to spread damage around, and then use something like fresh water, right? Or use something like um, fes- uh, cha- uh, festival champions, Champ- champions festival, right? Right. So um, that I think that's pretty good. I think that's um, that'd be something interesting to do. So. Um, but anyways, just five cards for you guys today. I thought I, you know, I've been creating some interesting cards. I thought, hey, share this with you guys, see what you guys think. And uh, I've seen some comments before. You guys noted uh, to me like, hey, this is a little bit of fan fiction, but why not, right? Hey, we're we're all part of this TCG community. Why not share some ideas? Why not just kind of, you know, imagine a little bit and be able to. Uh, enjoy and have some fun with this so anyways uh, that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoy the video and give it a thumbs up and if you guys are new to the channel feel free to subscribe thank you guys for subscribing already if you guys are a returning viewer and uh, so you guys all have a wonderful day I'll see you guys later you guys take care goodbye